Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Buffalo Bills playbook. I put out a run play a little while ago uh, that was just unique to this playbook. This playbook right here was the only playbook that put out or the only playbook that has the uh, halfback toss out of the single back trio. So I like that play so much I put out a play out of that. And I told you guys if you hit the like button, I put out more Bills stuff. And I got a lot of requests on top of it. So I'm going back to the Bills. Uh, this book right here is, is slowly becoming uh, uh, one of my more favorite playbooks. There's a lot of really good formations in it. It has the single back tight slots, which is kind of a must <laughs> for Madden this year. I mean, it's such a cheesy formation. You kind of need it. Um, it does it does have my halfback wheel play. So I use that play probably more than anything. Uh, the toss play, all that. Um, there's some really good formations in here uh it has the uh one of my more favorite formations going back a little bit if i can find it here outside of the gun formation this is the next formation i like to do the gun bunch quads um i have a couple of plays out of here i like to do so if you guys want to see it hit the like button other than that if you want to see part two of this this is going to be a two-part series um that i, I might, might just be only on my patreon i haven't done uh, a two-part series in a little while uh, but there's so many good plays out of this formation i'm gonna show you today the gun doubles i'm sorry not the gun the single back doubles north if you want to see part two hit the like button i'll do that for now i'm going to do two plays one pass one run I've been doing kind of like combos, like really good run plays with um, with really good like one play touchdown type plays on top of it. So I'm going to start off with the run play because in my opinion, if you want to win, man, you have to start by running the ball well. So we're going to go with the halfback stretch. And then I'll show you, like I said, a really good one play touchdown on the, on the back end here. Uh, this is a two tight end formation. So you're probably going to see a lot of four threes and three fours and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and we'll match that. I'll go ahead and I'll move the ball back now because I'm going to have to when I do the one play touchdowns anyway. So let's go ahead and let's move the ball back. So, like I said, this is a two-part series. All of these um, plays are going to have the same adjustment, which is basically this receiver is going to come over and it's going to turn this tight formation, or more like half a tight formation, into a bunch. That's the one consistent theme you're going to see in every one of my plays so that your opponent will never know. You'll never have a tell on what the play is. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to flip this play first so that when I motion this guy over, I can, I can have a couple things I can do. I can, I can have him come to a stop. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. I like the motion block, uh, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, either way, your opponent's going to see that receiver constantly coming over, and they're not going to know what the play is uh, until the play's hike. Now, if you do the motion block, that's a little bit of a tell, but it's such a you know it's such a quick reaction. How much time do they really have to figure it out? You know what I mean? Like they got a, a split second. And shady man, you're not fast enough to get going, bro. I was feeling that touchdown, bro. So there you go. I mean, you can see what type of uh, explosive play it is. First try. And we're getting just a crazy run. If it's a man covers like this appears to be, it might make sense to you. You got a couple different options. You can you can <coughs> you can continue uh, the way that it is, um, just run it you know strong side, or you can flip it short. You can leave it short side, and then just just bring that guy out of the play. And you can see he falls out of the way, and now you just kind of go to the empty side. I mean, it's really a couple different things you can do. Uh, but either way, it's not as effective against man. You can see how it basically gets stopped there. But that's fine. I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll have success. Uh, you can have success with it. It's not like, you know, that was just kind of a bad run. Like, here we got man. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run it the way that I designed it. Because every time it's a man, you can see, I mean, I'm still getting a tremendous amount of space. Like, doing it the regular way, that is. So whether it's a man or his own, I would say just run it as is. Uh, because even when a guy follows, he still kind of gets, like, he still kind of trails to the point where he's probably going to get caught up in the blocking. As you can see, we're getting some tremendous blocks. I mean, there's just so much space here. It's just ridiculous. I'm not getting gone because, for whatever reason, Shay's not fast enough. But you can see how good of a play it is. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll move on to the to the uh, the pass play now. Some really great uh, run formations here. So for the pass play... Uh, this is a great running book. I mean, like I said, one of my more favorite plays was the one out of the trio. I, may, I hope I popped a link for that. If not, link in the description. Check that out. That's also a really good one. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and let's continue here. 
uh, as we get to the uh, the first pass play. This is a, a play that's kind of, you know, supposed to be a one play touchdown. I'm trying to find it. Where are we at here? It's the PA rollout. I put a very similar play or a very similar concept like this out. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Uh, we'll keep going. Uh, we'll, I guess we'll go random 4-3 here. So this play right here, all you're going to do is motion this, this receiver over again. That's it. Um, you, if you want to, you don't even have to, to motion him all the way over. It's, it's up to you if you want to match the look. Uh, but you really have an option to motion block him. As you can tell already, though, the motion gives away the formation. That's one of the nice things. It's a man coverage. It's a single high man. I can see we got a blitzer here, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the motion block because I know an extra guy is coming in. We're getting, we're getting some heat, which is what I expected. So we'll take the check down, the check and release. Not a bad option. So that motion man definitely gives away the, uh, the formation. Which is nice. Here it looks like we have a, what's probably a cover three, unless there's some, you know, cover two invert or something like that. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put O'Leary here in a slant. You're going to see how that gets open um, Benjamin, which is not the best receiver. I should have probably put a speed guy there, but we'll run it just like this anyway. It should be fine. So here we get the check and release double team. We're rolling out. We're waiting for that square route to get gone. And like I said, he's not the fastest guy, but he's good enough and he gets in for the touchdown. It's that easy. Yeah, this play is really best for cover threes. Um, as you can see here, we have, it looks like we have a cover three uh, now. This is definitely going to be um, best run against a, a cover three defense. I still like the slant. I think that O'Leary kind of works better in a slant um, to get that guy open. And I forgot to shift my line, but it doesn't really matter. So here we're going to go ahead. We're going to wait for that guy to clear. Like I said, not the fastest guy, but he's still going to get it done. As you can see, we get another touchdown. Cover three is definitely for best. Yeah, what makes this play so good is you can just see how when I motion over Jones here, watch what happens to that corner. He just drops down kind of a little bit out of position considering he's supposed to be covering deep. <coughs> so what I'm going to do here, if I really want to um, get more dramatic results, I can put McCoy out into a flat route, uh, let that check and release do his job. You're going to see how it just helps to hold that cornerback down that much more. And then we can see how we just bomb it up over top. Um, just as long as you get a nice pass lead, a nice, you know, directional pass lead, you're going to be money all day. And like I said, you want to put a faster receiver where Benjamin is. I'm going to try to do that before I finish the next two plays uh, for part two in this video. Or if you guys want to check it out on my Patreon right now, uh, the next two plays will be on there. Uh, other than that, like I said, if you want to see part two on, on YouTube, hit the like button. I'll do that. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Moish it out.